Welcome to Bioko and the capital, Malabo. The 800 square mile island is 20 miles off the coast of Cameroon and it's one of the most beautiful and biologically significant places in the whole of Africa. Megi has lots of information on its history and culture and when you've settled into your work offshore, it's well worth reading about. Today's safety induction will cover all the points that you must follow when working on one of Meggie's offshore facilities. There are two main ways of travelling to and from the installation, helicopter and boat. Your helicopter is a Bell 212 and it's flown by Canadian helicopters. It's just a short 25 minute flight out to the Jade. If there's anything in this short induction that you're not sure about, talk to the safety department before you leave. Don't go unless you're completely satisfied that you know all you need to know for your trip offshore. If in doubt, ask. Before you go offshore by helicopter, you must watch a short video on helicopter safety. It's important to follow its instructions exactly because it's designed to protect yourself and everyone on board the aircraft. Safety is the responsibility of each individual. Maggie has systems and procedures to provide you with a safe working environment. By being aware of safety at all times, you contribute significantly to keeping the installation safe, not only for yourself, but also for your colleagues. Once on the Jade, you'll all be given an induction card with cabin, lifeboat and any emergency duties detailed on it. A tea card will be issued in your name from the radio room. It will be put in the muster control racks for use during a muster. This is an important part of safety procedures and it's your responsibility to use it properly. When you arrive at the installation, you'll be met by a company representative. He'll show you the quickest route to your lifeboat and life raft station. This will be your muster station. In an emergency, that's where you have to go. Learn the layout of the platform, take note of all the signs, and always know the quickest route to all safety equipment. If you hear one of the platform alarms, make your work site safe, but only if there's time to do so, and report to your muster point. When you get there, put on one of the life jackets that are kept there in the storage cabinets. If you're in your cabin when the alarm's raised, take the life jacket that's kept under the bunks. Never go back to your cabin to get a life jacket. Take the quickest route to your muster point. This will be the outside door on your level, north or south side. If you're at work or just inside the accommodation, use the stairs for exit. At your muster point, move your tea card from the left to the right side of the rack. An assistant coxswain will be at each muster point. His job is to check that all the cards have been swapped over and then report the total number of personnel present to the ECC, the Emergency Control Centre. There are different alarms on the Jade, depending on the type of emergency and where you are. Here are the main types. Straight to your muster point, report to the muster checker, and then move your tea card. If you see anyone fall into the water, raise the alarm in any way you can. If you have a radio, call for help, but stay where you are and keep your eyes on the man in the water. 
On the installation itself, there are horns and flashing lights. The blue light is the one which tells you to go to your master station. You'll see it in all high noise level areas. If you hear a process alarm sounding in the process area, it'll be part of the plant's alarm system. The process operators will deal with it, but leave the area. You'll find firefighting equipment strategically located at several points on the jade. If you find a small fire involving materials like wood, paper or rags, raise the alarm first. Then, only if you feel confident, try to deal with the incident of fire by using an extinguisher to put it out. But if the fire is large or there's a gas leak, on no account try to deal with it yourself. Raise the alarm. There are fire teams on board who have been specially trained in the use of the platform's safety systems and equipment to deal with incidents on board. There are Gaitronic systems with noise protection hoods on the decks, and if you come across a problem, call the appropriate area. Earlier we mentioned that you may have to be transferred to the Jade by personnel basket. When you do, always follow the procedures correctly as shown in the basket transfer training video. You'll be given a life jacket and the deck crew will show you how to put it on. Your luggage will be put into the centre of the basket and you'll stand on the outside. Put both your arms through the ropes, folding them and holding on tight. As soon as the crane lands the basket on the deck of the jade, let go and step clear immediately. Always wear the correct personal protective equipment. A hard hat with chin straps, safety glasses, flame retardant coveralls and safety boots or shoes. Pay particular attention to all safety signs when you're on the platform. They may tell you of personal protective equipment or PPP you may have to wear outside. Always check the station bills too. They're posted on all the decks of the accommodation and they give details of alarms and responses or actions to an emergency situation. All non-routine work on the Jade is carried out under a permit to work system. The permits are issued from the control room which is situated under the accommodation on the production deck. All permits are controlled by the safety departments and there are various types. If you have to go into a tank or confined space you'll need a vessel entry permit. If your work involves radiography or x-rays, you'll need a radiography permit. If you're going to be working on live equipment or you need to isolate part of the plant, you may need one of the many types of complementary permit, such as electrical isolation or mechanical isolation. You will also have to fill out a JSA, a job safety analysis. This identifies the hazards associated with the task. It should be communicated to those involved in the job. Permits are a crucial part of our safety system. Make sure you understand them and use the system properly. Maggie's policy on drink and drugs is very clear. The use or possession of alcohol or drugs is strictly prohibited. If you're on medication that's been prescribed for you by a doctor, tell the medic about it when you arrive. He needs to have this information in case he has to give you some treatment with which your medication could react. This has been just a short introduction to your trip offshore. When you're on the Jade, we hope you have a pleasant stay. Remember, you're responsible for your own safety and that of your workmates. If you have any questions about anything at all to do with safety, the safety department are on board to help you. So don't wait, ask. Thanks for your attention.